you must have already finished watching the parts on experiments of the waking state now we are going to move to the next major state which is the dreaming state and uh, let us see what experiments can we perform in this state before that here is the warning that uh, you are responsible for whatever you do and in whatever ways you apply this information presented here in simple words do not do it if you do not know what it is and the objective once again is uh, complete control over the activities of memory in the dreaming state same objective as in the waking state before we go ahead and experiment on the dreams let us define a few things what is a dream and you will say i know it it is a state of the memory that is right more precisely these are the experiences of an area of the memory that uh, includes the waking state memory and uh, some of the causal memories and some of the areas in the universal memory this picture shows you a schematic representation of what i just said the big blue oval is the universal memory and there is a orange circle which is the causal memory inside the causal memory is shown the waking memory because it's a part of the whole of the causal memory and the experiences we are going to get from the dream state are the purple circle which overlaps all these three domains of memory a tiny bit of the experiences coming from the waking state memories a lot of it is coming from the causal memory that is something which is stored throughout many lifetimes and sometimes the attention can wander into the non individuated areas of uh, the universal memory it wanders outside the causal memory so this is somewhat different from our usual in layered diagram where the layers are stacked one about the other and i'm sure that you know that that is just one representation all the memory is here and now it is all overlapping each other we change the drawings to suit our needs so as you know there is a world associated with a layer or with a state and there is also a body which is associated with that particular state so we are going to name these associations which are just different experiences the world in the dream state is the dream world or it is also sometimes called the desire world because the primary occupation here is to fulfill the desires and uh, in the body is called the dream body which appears here it is a faint copy of the waking state body if you are a human in the waking state that image is uh, copied from the waking memory and a uh, dream body resembling that waking body is pr- produced in this state we can also call it the desire body if you like traditional names because it is simply expressing the desires that is why that purple circle occupies a large area in the causal memory because the causal memory is responsible for producing the desires most of the time these de- these desires are then played out in the state so for an ordinary person it is completely random and usually they do not remember what happened because it was so strange the waking memory refuses to tolerate it and uh, after a few minutes one or two minutes of waking up all these experiences are lost if they are remembered they look like totally nonsensical experiences sometimes there is a tiny bit of story there like a badly made movie bad acting bad characters no storyline no beginning no end it mostly like this and occasionally the dream is very clear and appears meaningful and uh, is remembered completely this can happen once in a year once in a two or three years for an ordinary person who is not a seeker who is not a practitioner So if you are interested you can explore this state and conduct your experiments here and know a few things about this state it is very strange but it is wonderful there is no doubt about it so we enter this state not only to 
have con- complete control over the activities of the memory to have complete control over this state through the application of awareness and attention but also for other purposes like knowing the illusion getting the knowledge of this universal memory fulfillment of desires and many things which i am going to discuss in a few minutes we do enter this state naturally and that is uh, very fortunate because if it did not happen naturally we won't even come to know that there is such a state we know about this state because mother nature takes us there we know it exists and therefore we can try to go there we can try to induce that state according to our will whenever we want that will give us a complete control over it and if we maintain awareness we'll get complete control over whatever happens there if you recall the dynamics of attention for an ordinary person the attention moves under the influence of the habit it does so naturally and there is no and there is nothing wrong in it but if you are not trained your attention then probably these experiments will fail yes we are going to train the attention in the dreaming state also but uh, if there is no training whatsoever in the waking state then the attention is going to take its uh, natural path and uh, will flicker the state will not be under your your control if the attention is not in a, your control so a well trained attention is uh, a requirement here it is not enough to train the attention when you are already in the dreaming state because uh, it will be a habitual dark dream as usual without any control there will be no will to maintain attention or do anything in the dream so that is why it is a requirement that uh, you do the attention practices in the waking state first otherwise it's not possible to uh, experiment in the dreaming state you can get very lucky sometimes there will be no long term control and secondly awareness is required you should know what is awareness and you should know how to bring it in otherwise the dream is going to be dark and uh, habitual like machine like for an ordinary person given that you have these two abilities already and the knowledge you are now ready to enter the dreaming state when we enter the dreaming state with full attention and awareness we call it a lucid dream it is no longer an ordinary dream and this is uh, the most useful state to fulfill our objectives and to experiment the first way is the natural way where we use mother nature and her help to get into the lucid dreaming state remember we change the states naturally and since we know that it is possible to go there naturally we can try to induce that state and that will bring more control so first you try naturally and then as you master the natural way you become bolder and you try to induce it whenever you want on your command so these are the general recommendations for both of these ways ideally you should be on a lying down pose lie down on your back which is our natural pose when we go to sleep there is nothing special here just ensure that uh, your limbs are not uh, under any pressure the legs are not crossed the hand is not uh, below your head or back so that the blood flows and you are not interrupted while you are experimenting because of the uncomfortable pose that you are in and ensure that your body is well supported you can do it in a chair also inclined chair and you can also do it sitting but that will be a little bit risky because the body falls asleep the body can fall down because it loses control most probably you won't fall down but uh, your experiment will end suddenly we don't want that kind of surprise your surroundings should be very quiet turn off the music and uh, shut down the doors and windows and do not let anybody enter your room while you are practicing and this should be done privately as much as possible you should be fully rested should not be tired should not be hungry and all the bodily needs they must be met before you try this if you are not feeling well you are sick then don't do it most probably you will fail and it needs a little bit of energy so you will be drained of energy if you keep trying it even if you are not well just sleep normally recover and then you can try it 
so let's take a look at the natural way how to enter a dreaming state with full awareness naturally if you are doing the awareness practices in the waking state the same awareness will continue in the dreaming state sometimes you will notice a blackout or blanking out for a few seconds as the state is switched from waking to dreaming and that's all the same awareness will continue the scene will change it is like changing the movie on your cd player sometimes you can hear the noises from the nervous system which is preparing the body for falling asleep and and preparing for the new scenery and these noises are like the noises in between the radio stations so nothing to worry here this is very very natural it happens every day just that we are not paying attention and we are not aware and we do not remember anything because of that you can use special reminders to wake up in the dream which means poetically to gain back the awareness in the dream even if you enter the dream state uh, without full awareness for example you don't have that kind of uh, solid practice in the waking state but you still want to try out the dreaming state experiments you can fall asleep naturally and enter the dream naturally but can set up special reminders so that uh, you remember to wake up in the dreaming state these reminders can be objects or people or situations for example if you usually dream of water rivers or swimming pools or uh, drinks or anything that is the theme in your dream most of the time you can use this water as a trigger to become aware just set up a strong intention in your waking state that whenever you see the water you are going to become aware bring in the awareness practice in the waking state see the water practice in the waking state to become aware and attentive to what is happening if you don't know what i mean then you need to go back and uh, watch this uh, these all these parts on how to become aware the same thing just used in the dreaming state there i recommended or there was a technique to use reminders objects things pictures what not to bring back the awareness in the waking state same thing can be done and you have the added advantage of practicing it in the waking state you can also use people for example you see your mother or father your long lost friend dead people in the dream occasionally you can use them as trigger to remember that you are dreaming rehearse these things just like you rehearse for a drama in the waking state and by the power of habit or suggestions the same behavior will repeat in the dreaming state and you get the aware dream or the lucid dream for free without doing much without any techniques without any practice this is the power of habit this is the power of training you can also set up uh, specific behavior patterns in your waking state for example you can question in your waking state is this a dream pose this question every 30 minutes or 1 hour for example so if your uh, waking state is uh, 16 hours you should question this at least 16 or 30 times and because of the power of habit this uh, same tendency will continue in the dream and you will find yourself questioning in the dream is this a dream and the effect of this question is awareness will be triggered attention will simply focus on whatever is happening there in the dream this will happen automatically but if you do this questioning in the waking state mindlessly like without becoming aware as a result of the question then uh, there is no use of it this question should remind you of the awareness in the waking state first and then this behavior pattern will continue in the dreaming state you can also use tests in the waking state for example in the waking state you when you turn on the light switch the the light comes on when you turn on the fan the fan starts spinning and so on and this is something which happens very naturally in the waking state but you must have seen that this does not really happen in the dreaming state there are no physical laws there the light bulb can turn on in the wake in the dreaming state it is possible but it is not because of the switch it is not because of the electricity it is completely fake so when you turn on and off the lights 
you will find this very strange behavior there sometimes the light turns on sometimes it does not sometimes everything in your house turns on and this is a normal thing in the dream this kind of testing can be used to become aware in the dream turn the ordinary dream into a lucid dream you can also do this kind of tests like try to fly and this is going to fail in the waking state obviously but that can work in the dreaming state and uh, you will come to know that this is a dream so make it your habit to test these uh, events in the waking state and this habit will carry on in the dreaming state where it will bear the fruit it will make you aware while testing in the waking state you should also become aware otherwise there is no real advantage usually we are not aware in the dream and therefore we forget the dream now if you try to remember what you dream every day every night this can work like a trigger to bring up the awareness in the dream state whenever you dream something get up and write down what happened in the dream this is the well known technique of maintaining the dream diary keep a diary besides your pillow or you can use your phone also you can also use your voice to record the dream the story that uh, happened in the dream you should do it as soon as you wake up from the dream otherwise then 5 minutes the dream will be gone it will evaporate and because of this habit of remembering the dream there will be tendency in the dream to pay attention because now it is seen as something very very important to be written down to be recorded and that will trigger the awareness immediately we forget the dreams because we think they are just strange um, dreams completely useless completely nonsense and therefore we develop this tendency to completely forget because it's not important at all if it is given importance there will be a tendency to remember it it will happen very very naturally that you will remember the dreams very clearly and this remembering will leak into the dream as awareness you will know that i need to remember this what whatever is happening in my dream right now because i need to write it down and that that is going to trigger the awareness there now not only you get the aware dream you get to write it down that is doubly effective now another way to train yourself to become aware in the dream states naturally is to join the communities that have formed around this practice make uh, friends in these communities discuss the dreams publish your dreams saturate yourself with uh, these ideas and uh, thoughts and conversations remember the dreams of other people talk to them make this your lifestyle become obsessed with dreams and dreaming the science of it the techniques the experiences movies about dreaming make your life about dreaming and this will have some very good effect on your dreaming state that it will no longer remain an ordinary dream now it has become so important for you that the awareness is going to arise there this is a very natural way to maintain awareness in the dreaming state and you can become creative you can invent your own rituals and methods to bring in the awareness in the ordinary dreams bring in the light in the darkness of the dreams once you become aware in the dream you can start your experiments whatever you want to do there what are these experiments we'll discuss it in a few minutes first let's take a look at the induced way once you start getting a hang of the dream state you have done it many times in the nat- in, in the natural way you can become bold and now you can try it willingly you can try to induce it whenever you want to induce it whenever you want to go into this state a very good method is to get into the pose the recommended settings and uh, imagine something visualize something which is very very pleasing to you and interesting for you should not be very distracting and uh, something which evoke too many emotions or negative states don't do that something very peaceful flower garden angels gods whatever you like your teachers your friends animals dogs cats something like that which you want to focus on something similar to your waking state techniques just that you are doing it lying down and uh, with the 
completely relaxed body which is about to fall asleep it cannot be done when you're already asleep the train has left the station now you cannot catch it now attend to this visualization attend to this imagination use exclusive attention you should know by now what is exclusive attention and do not drift from this imagination and you will find that the body will continue its uh, habitual tendency to go into the sleep state but enough awareness will be maintained and this imagination itself will turn into a dream state you will continue in the dream state with this imagination you will notice that we have this power we have this ability to do that you need to just try it try it seriously why don't we know all these things because you were never told your society never told you your parents never told you actually they discourage anything related to dreams so we have lost many abilities because of uh, the poverty of knowledge that uh, we find in our societies another good way to induce the dream state with full awareness is a very strong will power maintain a so- strong intention that you are going to remain aware you are not going to drop out in darkness and keep your attention on use inclusive attention this time include everything that is happening all the sounds pictures and whatever appears maintain your will power here and the state the, the dreaming state will appear naturally but your will power will take you there with complete awareness this time you will find something strange that even the drop out does not happen the split second blanking will not happen or if it does happen it will be like nothing you, you will find no changes at all sometimes it will be so smooth that you will think that i am still in the waking state so with some experience you will be able to distinguish the waking and dreaming this is the power of the intention have a strong intention to do this to continue from the waking to dreaming with complete awareness and there are many techniques or rituals to do that you can simply search for them it is a very popular thing on the internet search for lucid dreaming techniques you will get a lot of them and uh, mostly they will be natural kind but and but sometimes you will find some techniques to induce the dreams through will power go through those rituals there is nothing wrong in the rituals but the rituals are not magical you are magical the rituals are just a training device you can use the formulas mantras or chanting also keep the awareness while the state changes from waking to dreaming they are like the tracks on which the train of the awareness runs the awareness follows the chanting or the mantras while the state changes on its own and again there is no magic in the mantra you can change the mantras if you want use anything any nonsense mantra and it is going to work the magic is in the awareness it is just a tool to keep the awareness on and not succumb to the habit of darkness nowadays you'll find some machines and things like the binaural beats and lucid dreaming machines and all but i don't guarantee that they will work nobody knows if they work and then there are drugs that can produce a dream like experience what is the use of that those who are too lazy and not serious and they are want this kind of experiences just for fun and giggles or they are completely ignorant that it is possible to get the same experience using very natural and very very effective techniques of meditation and all you can call it the dream dream meditation if you want on the such people they are going to try the machines or the drugs the machines do not make you a master you become dependent on them and they will become ineffective in 2 days it's a waste of money and time the drugs are effective because they are brute force they work on the nervous system they are going to eat the nervous system they are like poisons for the body the practice is not going to produce anything else except complete degradation of your nervous system or the body it will become unhealthy your intelligence will go down you will become stupid and mentally retarded because of the drugs sometimes people say that i'll take only once and i'll get there once i know how it is i'll tr- i'll try seriously so it is okay it is fine but uh, once the laziness grabs you you will always go to the drug 
you become a drug addict especially if there is no long term goals especially if you do not know what is awareness and all you have never heard these names if you think it is just an entertainment then such a person is obviously not a spiritual seeker it goes downhill from here onwards so the machines and the entheogens and whatever rubbish is not really recommended the best way is to train yourself and there will be long term benefits of these these dreaming practices are going to prepare you for the bigger practices that are coming next so these were some of the ways and techniques to enter the dreaming state with complete awareness and now the question comes if i am there with complete awareness what can i do in this state and the sky is the limit your imagination is the limit because it is your imagination 